Good morning, Casa. My name is Lizzie, and as per usual, I'm one of your news anchors for the day. And my name is Michael. I'm your other news anchor for today. Before anything else, we'd like to congratulate our executive producer, Kyle Miller, for winning a Best of Orangevale 2020 award for Best Photographer and Videographer. It's quite the achievement, and all of us at CRL are very proud of him. Proud we are. Good job, Kyle. On other news, we recently had a senior get-together at Dairy Queen, and one of our journalism students, Jenna Gorman, recorded the event. Here's the video. The Dairy Queen get-together went really well, and it was great seeing all the seniors be able to celebrate their senior year together. Everyone was able to talk and have fun outside of school, even with a free lunch. Let this be a message to everyone that even in the darkest of times, the community can still come together and make something great. Additionally, we'd like to let you know that many of CASA's athletic teams have started conditioning. This includes baseball, tennis, soccer for both boys and girls, swim, and water polo. In order to join a sports team, make sure you visit the athletics page on the school website. On top of those teams getting together is our Interact Club. The Interact Club is a club with the core intention of serving the community, and they meet the and they meet the first Wednesday of every month through June second. We also have a fundraiser for Casa Roble Aquatics on Monday, March eighth, from five p.m. to nine p.m. at Skipolini's Pizza and Pasta in Rockland. 15% of your order will go directly to our swim and dive athletes and they're open for dine-in or takeout. Breathe California Sacramento region is hosting their next smoke screening meeting on Friday, March 5th from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. For those who don't know, smoke screenings is a virtual event with the intention of raising awareness about tobacco use in movies and TV. Registering and participating in the event gives you the opportunity to participate in fun discussions and raffle prizes. So be sure to check it out in our weekly bulletin if you're interested. We also have a project where we can donate new or gently used books to children and, and families in high poverty areas. It is sponsored by Casa Robles Interact Club as well as the Orangeville Rotary Club and takes place from February 22nd to March 31st. These donations help out a lot and can really help our community. So if you have any children's books that can be donated, then you can drop them off at Casa's front office. Again, please, be, please make sure that they are appropriate for children below the age of 12 and spread awareness so then your friends and family can donate as well. Let's watch one more video made by Dylan Rector. And that's it for news today, folks. As per usual, please make sure you review the weekly bulletin for more information on all of the things we talked about. There's also contacts there if you have more questions and a whole bunch of information on several different scholarship opportunities. Other than that, have a nice day. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, Casa. Bye, Casa.